It was a day like any other. It was August 17th, and I was, it was a Sunday morning. I was getting ready to preach. I went down. Everything was the same as it's always been. Uh, I was going to preach a sermon from the book of Joshua, and I didn't uh, feel any different than I had any other day. About 20 minutes into being at the church that morning, I felt funny. I felt very different. And uh, I looked at my wife, and then I said, I need help, and then I fell to the ground. Uh, what was happening was my heart was not getting uh, blood to the rest of my body, especially my brain. And uh, that was because I had what's called a dissected aorta. And the only thing between complete death and any chance of living was a saran wrap piece of skin. It's about as thick as a piece of saran wrap. And blood began to pool around my heart. I turned blue. They thought that I was in some type of drug-induced coma of some sort. They had no earthly idea why I was going through what I was going through. They couldn't feel a pulse in my neck. They couldn't feel a pulse in my arm. Finally, they found a pulse in my foot. And they realized what was happening. They rushed me to the CAT scan room, and they got to the heart, and they saw that big pool of blood around the heart and recognized that almost no blood was getting, if any, was getting to my spinal column or uh, to my brain. They looked at my wife and they said, you understand that uh, we think we can save his heart. Now that we know it was a dissected aorta, we think we can save his heart, but there's nothing left, of, nothing, probably nothing left of him. Do you want us to save him? And she said, do what you can. In that moment in time, something happened. And it was something very profound, something I've never experienced before or since. And even a man who was, uh, didn't believe in God, he was my neuropsychologist, said that there's no way that I could have memories because I didn't have memories of anything. He said it was something deeper than that. And uh, I felt like in that moment in time that I was in the presence of God in a way that I don't even know how to describe. Except this way, I'll do it for you the best way I know how. When I would go to my grandmother's house um, on Thanksgiving, the room would be dark and she would give us this comforter and tuck us in and even though I might be scared at home, I wasn't scared at my grandmother's house. I don't know why, I don't know how that worked. I just know that's how I felt. And that's exactly the feeling, warm, and safe, and protected. You know, I was wondering, you know, would I, would I see God? I can tell you now, I, I never saw an image of God. I never saw an image of Jesus. I never saw a light, I never saw a tunnel. I just knew that I was in the presence of God. And I knew that there was, in the midst of that time, there was joy unspeakable, and a time full of glory. The Bible talks about. It was also a complete submission to God. Complete. I didn't, in that moment, I didn't say, God, if you get me back so I can be with my kids, then um, then I'll, I'll do whatever you want me to do. All I said was these words, Thy will be done. Over and over again, that came into my brain. Thy will be done. First thing I remember was waking up in the ICU and everything was white around me and bright. And one of the questions I remember asking my wife was, uh, why did you bring me back? Why did you bring me back? Now I know why you brought me back. It's not just about me, see. It's about my family and my children, my uh, continued relationship with the Lord. And also it's about uh, how God can continue to use me. And God's man is indestructible until God's finished with him. It's kind of like what Paul said in Philippians 1.21 when he said, I have a desire to go and to be in heaven, but it's far more profitable for me to stay with you. And I believe that's why God left me here. Every moment matters. We get up in the morning and we think it's gonna be a normal day. Nothing was different. I didn't feel any pain. I didn't feel any struggles. I didn't feel funny in any way until just before it happened. We've got to be ready to be with God at any moment. And I, and I made it a determination to help people understand that what happens today is what matters. This moment is what matters. I just want to live every single moment for God. And I'm going to be here until He's finished with me.